Hi there, this is Navneet and welcome to the 6th video of the playlist A086 programming. In the previous video, we saw how to multiply two 60 numbers. If you didn't watch that video, do watch it, link is in the description. And coming to this video, we are going to see how to divide two 8-bit numbers. So, without any delay, let's start. First of all, open DOS box. And you know the command what to do. Just type in mount D space D colon backslash H right six. If it is another drive in your case, make sure you type that letter and click enter. And now navigate to that particular drive. Your drive in my case it is D. And I said in the previous video itself, as it is time consuming, I'll open the program straight away and I will explain each step by step. If you have any doubts, feel free to contact me or do comment in the comment section. So, in order to open a program which is already present in this 8086 folder, just type in edit and program name. That is, in my case, it is div 8bit.asm. Click enter. Okay, this is what the program we are going to discuss. And without getting into program, and uh, you know, let me also open my calculator so that we can verify. So open your search box and just type in calculator. Okay, if uh, when you open for the first time, it will sto show a standard calculator for you. So just uh, open menu and go to this programmer and we want hex. So the numbers we are going to choose are, let us take AB divided by CD. You can take any numbers as you wish. Uh oh, what is this zero actually? Mm. Actually, I think it is showing only the quotient that is uh, zero zero, but uh, we want reminder also. Mm. I think our calculator is not working this time. Let's go to Google Chrome. Yeah, actually, I done a better thing. I actually minimized my Google Chrome. That's a good thing. Mm. Let me move my DOS box somewhat over here and just uh, type in what uh, just type in hexadecimal calculator. Mm, I already opened it, right? Click enter and hexadecimal calculator. Actually, as our calculator is not working, we are using we'll see whether any option is available in Google Chrome. Yeah, let's click on this and uh, what are our numbers AB divided by CD right so just type in that numbers AB and CD and the operation we want is divide right so just choose and click on this calculate yeah we got here C our calculator is only showing the quotient part 0 that is 0 0 but we want this reminder as well right reminder is AB and quotient is 0 0 so if our program ran successfully it should uh, give the result as 0 0 and a b now let's get into our program okay this is what the program actually and the first three lines will be common for any program and uh, make sure you write the same for every program and we are not using data segment over here and we will see that segment in the future lectures and the first thing over here is uh, uh, make sure you clear uh, the registers which we are using in the program okay uh, make sure you clear all the registers which we are going to use uh, and use this in all the programs actually and move ax comma 0 0 0 0 h actually I am using over here al and bl right if I clear the AX, AL is automatically cleared because AX is nothing but AH and AL. So I also want to clear this uh, BX register as well. That is in order to clear a BL. So I will just type in move BX comma AX. That is I will move the same 0000, 0, 0, 0 H to BX so that BL is cleared. So make sure you clear that the registers which we are going to use. And the next step is uh, 
we are pointing SI with a 3000 H and we are moving content of that 3000 H to AL that is in our case we are moving AB to AL that's it and uh, the AB is at what location 3000 right now we are again incrementing SI over here and why we are incrementing this SI we know that our memory location accommodator can accommodate only 8 bit we already moved AB right that is of 8 bit and from where it can accommodate another 8 bit so we are incrementing it by 1 and we are navigating to 3001 from 3000 and in that 3000 location we are entering another number that is CD in our case to the register BL so now our AL register contain AB and BL register contain CD now we moved inputs <coughs> perfectly and the next thing we have to do is divide them right so we use the uh, command div bl to divide the two numbers which we are given in al and bl so what this div bl does is uh, it performs like this al divided by bl and the result will be stored in ax that is quotient will be stored in al and reminder will be stored in ah okay don't get confused div bl means al divided by bl that is if you take 4 and 2 4 divided by 2 4 will be from al and 2 will be from bl that is al is divided and bl will be the divisor and the result is stored in ax that is quotient will be stored in al and reminder will be stored in ah that's it with this command and now we are again incrementing si in order to store our result which is present in ax right our result is present in ax so from that ax we are moving the result to this memory location si at what location i mean what is the address of it uh, 3000 is for al 3001 is for bl and 3002 and 3003 that is AX is 16 bit right so 3002 and 3003 is for our result and we are ending the program that's it guys program has been finished and uh, click on this file in your case uh, uh, click on the save as and name the file relevant to the I mean we are uh, performing 8 bit division right so make sure write div or dv8 like that but the extension should be dot asm already saved my file right so i'll uh, don't uh, do that save as again i'll just exit from here and the first command you have to go is uh, i think you know it very well so just type in masm and our file name is div 8 bit dot asm right we can enter four times no errors in our program we can go to next command that is link our program name div 8 bit dot obj this time link div 8 bit dot obj click enter four times now the last command to debug is debug our program name is div 8 bit dot exe this time okay click enter and now we have to run our program so just type in g equal to four zeros click enter now we have to give our values right so to give inputs we use e right so from where from 3000 why 3000 we pointed our si to 3000 right so our input address starts from 3000 click enter now we have to give our values now this is the AL value that is 3000 location so what we want to give at AL AB right so give AB now type space to go to next location that is 3001 and here we want to give CD right that is what we use in our calculator that is AB divided by CD now click enter now once again run your program after giving the inputs so run our program type j equal to 0 0 0 0 click enter now 
we should check our result right i said that our result will be available in ax that is what i said right see we have our result in ax that is ab and 00, zero. and what we got our result here in calculator c in calculator we, are, we also have same the result that is 0 and ab right i said uh, quotient will be available in al right yeah the same we got here ax is nothing but ah and al right we have ah ab that is the reminder and al is 0 0 that is the quotient now we can also verify in other way that is d uh, d space starting address of the output and ending address of the output see in this program we took two registers that is al comma bl and which are of uh, 8 bit right now uh, and our address starts from 3000 so 3000 is gone for al and 3001 is gone for bl so obviously our output starts from 3002 comma 3003 why two addresses see i said our result will be stored in ax and ax is of 16 bit right so 3002 comma 3003 and click enter yeah we got uh, 0 0 and ab yeah that is what we required that's it for this video guys we have successfully completed the program now in order to quit from here just type in q and enter and uh, in order to also quit from here just type in exit and click enter and you will exit from this dos box mm, thanks for watching guys and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and in the next video we will see how to divide two 16 bit number to subscribe for that video thanks for watching